So this is in reference to the Doom Eternal drama from a couple years ago. I believe, I'm going off memory, the, the whole letter's still out there, but I'm just going to try and give the cliff notes. Going off the top, I believe Mick Gordon was accused of like not finishing his work on time or being difficult to work with, and just basically saying that he was just not a good experience and didn't get anything done that they asked him to. And that was accepted by the majority of people for like two years. Even I remember reading that and I was like, damn, that sucks. And then Mick Gordon never gave his side of things until a couple days ago where he released this absolutely massive write-up full of receipts to prove that it wasn't him. It was 100% the, the Doom Eternal team. More specifically, Marty Stratton. Why did he wait? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to read it, I guess. See? Things are of Azrael, Sam, and Hobo. So here's the open letter that he's referencing. This was like the bombshell. Mick Gordon has always been like extremely well respected in the industry. His music is nuts. Like he, his, his OSTs go so hard. He's like Hans Zimmer for games. That's such an awful comparison because their music is nothing alike. But I'm talking about prestige. Like if you slap Mick Gordon's name on a game saying that he's working on the soundtrack, people will buy it just for that. So when this came out, a lot of people were really disappointed to learn this side of Mick Gordon, but it turns out all of that was just kind of wrong. Is there some coyote? Okay, so like I said, I haven't read through it, so we'll, we'll blast through this to get the full scoop here. I saw this as an important talking point for a lot of people. Apparently after he made this post, uh, after he like brought all of this out, he then tried to bribe Mick Gordon into not talking about it with a six-figure settlement, which is kind of huge. Okay, so this is kind of like a write-up of all, like, the general stuff. Protecting identities, larger overview things. Kind of like a glossary. Yeah, there's even a table of contents here. Holy shit. Oh my god. Holy lord. Thanks for resub, Cody. All right, let's start here. One of the game's key features was music that closely matched gameplay, so aiming to produce finished music for levels still months away didn't make sense. I agree, that sounds kind of nonsensical. If they're asking you to make music to match the gameplay, you'd need to see the gameplay. Looks like they didn't provide that. Okay, so this all seems like they wanted him to do something that really couldn't be done without them also providing the material, which they weren't receptive to. Wanting him to make music to levels they didn't have and didn't give to him. And then here's the screenshots. Have they responded to this yet? 
Thanks, Resub Kawaii, Odin, and Tier 1 Herf. Not yet. I'm curious. I mean, they're going to have to. I'm curious what Marty's going to say. So it looks like they had an absolutely cutthroat schedule with absolutely no way of being flexible. Yikes. Oh, calling out Marty here. Thanks to the resub king in the prime smock. Marty sounds like a dick. Suggested my act of trying to do something about it was a sign of incompetence. Huge. Here's an email about it. Do people consider Doom Eternal's soundtrack to be a failure, or is it just a failure in the eyes of, like, Mick Gordon because it's not his best work due to how awful these, these working conditions were? Because I don't recall the Doom Eternal soundtrack being lacking by any means. Oh, soundtrack, fine, this is just the OST. Oh, is this all the OST? I was under the impression this was just the entire game soundtrack. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. He's a prime warrior. I see. Got it. This just sounds like absolutely terrible working conditions then. So unrealistic expectations and an unwillingness to actually provide the materials that they needed to, leading to an impossible task. I saw Pyro made a video on it. I was just going to read through this myself, but this does seem like an even lengthier read than I remembered. I knew it was long, but I didn't remember it being, like, this long. Like, with a full table of contents. Thanks, resub. Stop, Tortoise, and Neprune. The write-ups about both. The main reason it got to the drama was the OST originally uh, understood. Okay. So then it really is just like an absolutely full write-up on the entirety of the situation. Thanks, Risa Mulgan. <clears throat> Thanks, Risa Dark Prof. Yeah, I know Pyro just made one on this. Man, this is huge. He really came out here with the claws. 
Holy fuck. Man, Marty must feel so fucking dumb right now. Okay, maybe I will just watch... I, I, I don't know, I'd like to read the whole thing, but I feel like this would be like an hour and a half of just a reading on stream. So maybe I'll read the whole thing off stream, but get the cliff notes from either Young or Pyro. That might be the play, at least for stream, just that way I'm at least knowledgeable on the subject. And then read all of it off stream. Yeah, I know there's a too long didn't read, but I don't know. I'd, I'd rather someone that did read it also break down as well. So that way I can at least have a decent scope on the situation and then read it all on my own. So haven't been paid, huge. Wow, holy fuck. So Marty hasn't said anything? I mean, he was confident enough to make that original Reddit post. What the fuck? Jesus. Bro, I need to see what Marty has to say. This is kind of a crazy... TLDR here. What the fuck? Things are so ironic and Chris. Mick Gordon sounds like a saint for even putting up with all of this and still trying to make the most out of it for the sake of the Doom fans. There's no way Marty hasn't addressed this. It's been like two days now. He's a big time Redditor. Surely he's karma farming right now. This also has 100k likes on Twitter, so not exactly something that he hasn't seen. He does not have a Twitter, so he really is just a full-blown Redditor. Damn, I really want to see what he has to say. Bethesda's now a Microsoft problem. Yeah, but I mean... Th Marty started it. Like, it seems like Mick was entirely ready to just let bygones be bygones, work together to make the most out of a shit situation, and Marty, for some reason, fucking threw on the monocle and dropped a 2,500 Reddit post about it. Kind of wacky. It's also his only post. Oh, no, it's not. It's his last post. Exit Prime. Splee. Anyone, well, anyone know why no official podcast this week? It just it isn't ready yet. Still being edited. Thanks for some thank you. It should be ready tomorrow or Monday.
Painful because I love Mick and Doom Eternal is one of my favorite games. Well, no, Mick Mick Gordon here with the W. It, it's it's Marty holding the L. Mick just made like a crazy bombshell to protect himself and finally like redeem his character in the public eye. He just let himself be slapped around for like two years though by this, which was apparently all wrong. He still hasn't been paid though. Oh yeah, true. I guess it's more of just like a public perception W, because yeah, he still hasn't even been paid for his work.